All right, so today we're going to be showcasing the EZA for Yamu and Spovovich, which came out at the same time as the Grace Haman, which I showcased in yesterday's video. If you haven't seen that, make sure you do so. So we're going to quickly go into the details of the card, what has changed with the Awakening. They are a World Tournament category leader for 3 key and 77% stat boost, making them the go-to World Tournament category leader, outperforming Jackie Chun. Then Extreme Class leader for 3 key and 40% stat boost as well, which is not too bad. Good for like... I don't know, your lower teams for the ultimate clash. Uh, then for the super attack mechanic, they still recover 7% HP supreme damage, but now with the addition of lowering the enemy's attack and defense, which is a really nice addition, I say so myself. Because if you're running Majin Buu Saga, like an extreme Majin Buu Saga, they really rely on, um, you know, lowering the enemy's attack and defense, which is very awesome. Um, then for the uh, passive skill, we got attack and defense plus 90% as a start of the turn. It's all minor improvements from here on out, uh, just to make the card a little bit more consistent, I guess, to the current day meta. Uh, key plus 2 plus an additional attack plus 20% with each super attack performed, infinitely stacking. It's the same boost before the Z Awakening, so nothing's really changed there, unfortunately. Uh, what has changed, though, is the defense cap. So with every attack received, they get a defense boost of 20%, and that stacks up to 160%. Used to be 140%, but um, now it's the extra 20%, which is fine. I would have liked it to have like a faster increase, though, because it's just making it still long. And I don't think you're putting this guy in the main rotation all the time to take that many hits. That's eight hits, by the way. That's a lot of hits. That's like, if, if you're floating them out, that's like nine turns if you're getting like consistent three hits every single turn which is very rare to do um main rotation it's not that bad but it's like how the truth and the active skill like six turns is just too long you know um and then the stacking attack is always nice uh and then the final part of the passive is they're able to disable enemies guard when attacking superclass enemies which is good making their damage a little bit more consistent because when you're versing type disadvantage even though you stack up this much attack type advantage does or type disadvantage should i say does ruin the card quite a bit for somebody that can stack attack. Uh, link skills and stuff stay the same, so nothing has changed for that. And we're going to be running them under Terrifying Conquerors for the big boost from Demon King Piccolo and the Cooler. So we're going to go up against the Universe 6 Infinite Dragon Ball History event. Uh, we got some early STR fights, so that's a good thing. And we're not bringing any healing items. I'm going to see if we can just rely on Yamu and Spovovich recovering HP from the super attack mechanic. So... I am bringing the tech <laughs> Spovovich, the rare card. I thought it'd be interesting. I couldn't be bothered farming an extra uh, Yamu. Or was it Spovovich? I forget what was the uh, form before this. Uh, the Spovovich. Uh, <laughs> to have a good link mana. So the rare one does just fine. It doesn't really change too much. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to go with that. All right, so we have them in the second rotation. And then the tech one is in the final slot, which is not too bad. We can get through this as fast as possible if we wanted to. And yeah, we'll see how much we can stack. I want to just go as long as I can. It's good that the uh, one of the STR fights is Megeta. So he is known to be the tanky one in this battle. So we should be able to stack up a decent amount of attack. And hopefully get max defense stack. So we've got to keep in counting. It's a counting game today. All right, so we'll get to receive one attack. One out of eight. And then with one support, because uh, Cool only supports transformation boost, you've got a defense of 63,000 and 184,000 with only one support. And I think Brutal Beatdown as well. Let's see where this takes us. Okay, with, uh, that's the big thing about them. They're not really defensively good at the start, and you just take so much damage like we just did there. Um, but the lowering attack does help a lot, just so they don't take big of a hits, because I, when I used them in Ultimate Clash, when I first, like, Metal Cooler, or somebody that can be lowered attack, I mean, they, they still take a lot of damage, and you're never in a battle for that long to keep on having your defense as high even Super Battle Road, probably you won't even get max defense half the time. All right, good rotation. I get to float out Spovovich very safely. And yeah, we're healing. So that's good. We get... Ooh, yeah, we should get one more turn here. That's always good. 
for the amount of turns we can delay, the better. Uh, 89,000. And we're going to take we're gonna take one more attack before we probably take out Batamo. Uh, 250,000 attacks. That, that, that's with uh, double support now. So that does uh, change the numbers quite a bit. One point... What was it? Five million attacks that there? Wait, do we even kill here? I actually wouldn't mind if we don't kill. <laughs> yeah, 1.4 million, even with type disadvantage. No way. Alright. So we've taken two hits now, and it's already been, what, five turns? Which is insane. Getting pretty unlucky in the uh, first slot attacking spots. Like, we should have ghost ushered there, actually. Uh, this is fine. Defense is now 102,000. The attack should rise up quite a bit since now we're activating links. 304,000 attack stat. I'm going to take two hits, so that's four. <laughs> four out of the eight. We're halfway there. And we're shooting almost to two mil attack stat now. Actually very solid. Yep, the critical is insane. Yes, defense. Two times, pretty much. 68,000. <laughs> this is going to be a hindrance having Spovovich a rare card in the uh, main rotation. I don't expect to get to the very end of this. I just want to see how long we can last here. And just how much attack boost. Because, you know, you can infinitely stack until 99 turns. Um, I'm going to Whis here. Just in case. Conserve some HP as well. I might have not needed that since I'm lowering the enemy's attack. I've lowered it quite a bit now. But this super attack will still do a lot. Oh, never mind. It would do zero with three dodge. Nice. I think one last super attack on Magetum. We get to take two more hits, which is awesome. Uh, his defense is now 131,000. Okay. Now. Uh, was that? Was that his max? Or was that six? I forgot. <laughs> was that max or is that six? We'll, we'll find out. Oh, that's not good. With no healings. All right, we should get a Zoku mode next turn. So we should be doing some big damage and get the free heal, of course. And then Frost being another STR unit is awesome. And we can still lower the enemy's attack. All right, here we go. Uh, 145,000 defense with a 200... Oh, let me grab the orbs. With a 390,000 attack stat. And a good support. All right, let's see how much we can do here. We got 2.3 million attack stat as I miss one. Rip. All right, here we go. Let's see how much damage. Come on, can we get like 3 mil crit or something? 3.9. And it wasn't even a crit. <laughs> wow. I was only expecting a 3 mil crit there. Actually, so good. As long as we live, good. And we should be fully healed up as well. That's not even the least of it. Like, we're so early in. Even though it's 10 turns, I mean, we still got and a lot of items to keep on going. But we did kill Frost already. That was... Unintentional, but I guess he's not as tanky as the rest, as, you know, Megetta was. But we'll take it. We'll take the 4 mil critical. Alright, here's a nice example of type neutral damage, because he's able to get rid of enemy's guards. 434,000 attacks, though. Jeez. 
G. I will... I mean, as even though he has type neutral damage, he does not have type neutral tanking. So we're going to Whis up here. Two point six mil. I we're gaining like three hundred thousand attacks that each turn, pretty much. Yeah, and having a million damage consistently, even when versing type disadvantage, is so good. And the double super attack, Chef's kiss. Fifty six k. All right, so I guess we can conclude that his max defense is around 160 to 170,000, depending, well, 180,000 maybe, depending on your leader skill and whatnot. Uh, and then, of course, his attack is still will forever grow. Uh, we're gonna risk it here. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can tank this. Double digits, nice. That's good to see. Your three mil attacks. That <laughs> God, that's like cooler territory now. And the super attack. 200,000. Oh my. That would have been GG's if it was for... Yamu and Zbovovich. No way we would have survived that. Alright. On to Ints now. Alright. I guess we have to go and risk it here. Get the heal back. One mil damage. Ah, uh, yep. I think that's GG, boys. I... Uh, our defense is... Yeah, not good enough. <laughs> well, I mean, we did do a lot of damage in today's video, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Links to my other social medias are in the description. Make sure you have the notification bell on as well so you don't miss out on the daily uploads. We'll be showcasing the 8-bit units now, so stay tuned for that. Until the next one. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.